This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for creating your own website. Stay tuned to hear more. Hi everyone, welcome to the vlog. I am excited because happy September, everyone. It is September. I don't quite know how to start this vlog today. I mean, I have a lot of stuff to do and this vlog is finally going to be a vlog that spans over more than one day. I know that's how I normally make my videos and that's how I've been wanting to make my videos, but I've been so busy lately that I've just made everything one vlog. But we have a lot to talk about, so hello everyone. We are back to the old content of making very, very long vlogs. <laughs> I've been making a lot of strawberries like a lot a lot of strawberries i actually don't have them up here i should go get them because i just threw some in the oven a little bit ago i have some footage from the past few days that i don't know when i'm going to insert in here but i have a lot of updates on what i've been working on because i've just been so incredibly busy and happy and i've been making a lot of a lot of new stuff i think first i'm gonna go get the berries i'm gonna show you guys the progress on the berries also i did my makeup a bit differently i did like a little cut crease i think it's cute but it took me like a little bit too long and i feel like it's not that noticeable but i'm gonna i think i'm gonna try to do it more because i feel like it looked cute uh i feel like i'm just not doing it right you know i'm gonna go get the berries i will be right back <laughs> also do you guys want to see my little fit i've been wearing it's literally pajamas but like these nike shorts are so cute they have little stars on them and i like them but let's go get the little strawberries i've been making strawberries i've been making sticker packs prints keychains things like that that haven't even been produced yet i am so busy like oh my god <laughs> but let's go let's go downstairs and get the berries okay so i have like a million and one strawberries i'm about to bake them it's kind of first thing in the morning right now which is probably why my voice sounds a little bit weird i'm excited we made so many so that we can make more of these guys i made even more berries this is like the second batch the first batch is downstairs because i've been painting them i'm definitely getting better so hopefully this batch comes out looking better than the last because i decided to make more because i felt like the last one was not my best work so hopefully these guys will make up for I'm going to transfer them to this sheet because it is morning time and I think it is time for them to go and do their thing But welcome to my desk as you can see we got some like lumps of clay That's not supposed to be here. We have the big balls of clay that I've mixed up colors on I've been really enjoying making these berries Which is why I've made so many that and I kind of have to because like I said I'm preparing to stock a lot of things and you know It makes it easier when you do like the same step all at once when it's a really repetitive process so I don't mind doing all of these basically all at once. They're really really cute and I'm quite happy with how they're turning out. I tried a lot harder with this batch so they all look a bit better. <laughs> so now that you're all caught up on the berries, I'm going downstairs to get the ones that I just put in the oven and there are so many of them, literally so many and also I caught a bit of a conversation that I had so enjoy me speaking some Chinese I guess. No, <laughs> never tai du. Wow. Hello, Hemi. Are you in the spaghetti? Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Hello, my babies. Oh my god! <laughs> Karen, hello! Pinko, hello! Oh, oh wow! Hi guys! Hey! What are you doing? Hello! Hello! Ah. What? What? Okay guys, okay guys, okay guys, berry cups, berry cups. So, long story, um, I got these cups. I mean, no one cares where I got these cups, but I went to Costco and I got those tiramisus in a little cup and they come in like glass cups. I don't buy things just because of the packaging when it's just a glass cup, I should say by the way, because sometimes I'd be doing that. But I got them and I've been eating them. Obviously I've had two tiramisus. I have been using them to store the berries and nothing has been more appropriate. This cup is a little warm, first of all. Also, there's an airplane flying overhead. This cup is a little warm because the berries just came out of the oven, but they be looking pretty good. I'm happy. I've spent the past, this is two days worth of berries. I don't know why I got so like hyper fixated on berries. I mean, we have like the finished earrings here and they look very good and I'm very happy about them. So I think that's why I've been making so many of them because I'm like so proud of my design. These are the berries that are are not 
with faces and then these are the berries with faces as you can see i have like so many of them someone said forbidden cereal this is literally forbidden cereal also you can tell how hard i've been working because my hands red not from like pain from like clay you know what i mean yeah i've like been working really hard on these but it hasn't felt very difficult because like i really love doing it so i'm very happy with that because i don't always feel that way about stuff i've been making and i think lately i've been so like work 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 that i really haven't had time to enjoy what i've been doing so i'm glad that i have this opportunity to actually like what i'm doing i feel like they're so cute in their little cups and i love them and i got packaging the other day one of the things i'm preparing for and the thing we're going to do tomorrow is that i'm going to drive back down to that store where i'm selling stuff and i'm very excited to have my stuff in like a physical store because first of all i've never done that before second of all like that's super cool and third of all it's really good exposure so i'm hoping to have more of an audience here at home i actually met someone at target the other day who recognized me who works there and i was like oh god because it's like my target of choice you guys know how you have like one local target of choice and i think i've had some anxiety about like filming at home in public because i'm like i don't want people to find out where i live because this is like my family home but you know what i trust my audience to not dox me if they recognize somewhere that i am so i'm gonna start filming outside my house more and please just like don't call out the location if you know where it is and like recognize it i'd really appreciate that aside from that i also have RISD craft which i just announced i will be at RISD craft october 8th and then i will also be at the halcyon artist holiday event whatever it's called in alpharetta georgia so i am super excited i have two tabling events that are coming up which is also why i'm making so many of these berries but also why i've been focused on packaging and stuff my main focus right now is tomorrow's event because i have to go drop off a bunch of stock which i've been preparing and i have here so i can show you guys there are these two other events that are coming up so i'm thinking about that but this is the packaging i've got for the berries so far it's a little bit plain i know it's a start you know it's what we're working with so i have the pudding ones like this too and i also did these because when i'm shipping these online i'm going to have to find a way to ship them safely and they're very very cute so i have a couple of the strawberry ones i have three of the strawberry ones and three of the pudding ones sorry about the plastic crinkling sound i know some people hate that but i think they came out really cute so we got that going on i'm gonna glaze these later today i don't want to make this whole video about glazing or really doing anything in specific because i don't want to do that <laughs> i want to do like a bunch of different things today i feel like i try to plan out my days every day before i start and today i don't want to just do one thing but i also have some other stuff here from just like the last batch we have some berries that are glazed kind of hard to hold these i didn't get to using and we have some pudding guys as well in here but i'm gonna keep these guys in there until we get another tiramisu cup i only have two of them right now I haven't been buying new washi tape for sticker sets in a long time because first of all, I have like an absurd amount of washi tapes from when I was younger and I didn't use almost any of them. And so I'm trying to use them up now with my sales. Also here is what the sticker packs are looking at close up. As you can see, there's little stars and it looks amazing. We got my info in the back. Big Tiffany thank you sticker because these are big packs. This is how I'm gonna package stuff for my tabling events as well as of right now, I think. I mean, a lot of subjects have changed because it'll probably be like this for October, but who knows what I'll be feeling in November, you know? Yeah, very excited though. Oh my God, I think these look so great. And with all these stickers, I want to thank Squarespace, which is the sponsor of today's video. They are the sole reason that I am able to run a online shop and everything that I show in this video, as I keep mentioning, is all available on tiffany.com. Squarespace is an amazing platform that helps you build your own website and they have all these amazing templates for you to follow, which is how I was able to build my own commerce site. Normally building a website would be really tricky, but Squarespace makes it super easy with all of their super comprehensible templates and so many options to fully customize your website. As you can see, I have my strawberry baby ear earrings online as well as my pudding baby earrings and all of the stickers that I've shown here even the new ones that I just got if you guys want to check these out yourself I'll have my own website linked down below and they even help me put my portfolio online which is really important for an artist in this day and age if you guys want to check it out for yourself you can head to squarespace.com forward slash tiffany wang and use the code tiffany wang for a discount off your first purchase of a website or domain thank you again to squarespace and now back to the video because these are going to be in an in-person shop like presentation and the packaging is going to be very important and and so I want to make things that go here that I can staple on to have my info, but I have yet to do that and I cannot do that right now. So that will have to be a more long-term goal, you know? I think with a lot of small business stuff, there's long-term goals. I'll pack one of these on camera. I did all of the ones that I needed to for the shop already. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have, but I will do one on camera just to show you guys how I did it because I think the process is really cute. 
Okay, so this is how I pack one of these guys. A little tutorial time, ahaha. <laughs> First thing I'm obviously gonna do, get all the stickers from inside that pack. So we have a couple of these. This is also available on my shop online. If you guys want to grab one, we have this one, this guy. We have the gamer girl stickers. We have the big puppy and the big fish. Two of these whale sharks. And usually like I would put the smaller stickers in the front, but because of how many stickers are in here, I try to keep the color palette cohesive. So I'm very selective about what goes in the front. So for example, this flower cat sticker is gonna go all the way in the back because I don't want that color to be shown. This flower cat sticker, I do want to be shown. So I'm putting it in the front. The layering on these is different every time, but I'm just gonna go off of what I have here because I like the way it looks. This guy, we have one of these, which I'm gonna tuck back here. And then one of these, I was cutting these on a, like a paper cutter machine, but because I'm currently on my desk, I'm just gonna cut it with scissors because it works. As you can see on the back, it's like that. So I'm going to slide this back here like this and then take this guy and put it in the back. Now I'm going to put this guy in one of these little holographic packages and I think it's so cute. Ah, so amazing. And so now I'm going to fold this over and this proportion really depends on the stickers I put in here. As you can see, this one's kind of sticking up. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of like readjust it a little bit. So it's hidden a little bit more because I'm going to put a staple in here. I've been using washi tape to secure the top, but this is just part of one of the long-term goals I have, which is to design my own sticker top thing, like a label. I've had one previously, but I didn't like it. So I'm going to be redesigning it soon. For right now, I'm just going to be using this. And the reason I put a staple in it, normally I wouldn't put a staple in it because I don't think it's very necessary. But since I know these are going to be sitting on a shelf for who knows how long before someone buys them, I'm going to add a staple just for extra reinforcement so they don't start like falling apart on them. That's pretty much how I package these. You just add a staple in the middle and you're all good. I actually did these with my mom the other day. She helped me out. It's hard for me to accept help sometimes. So it was nice. She cut all the little washi tapes. I'm slowly going to transition to this method of packaging in the near future mostly for in person because like i said i have those two tabling events and then also this in-store thing once i get rid of all of my old packaging which i no longer really enjoy i will be doing this so i think it's really cute and then they were asked for five of each of these sticker packs so i think for this one they're split by the type of washi tape that i used this one doesn't have a staple going through it actually so i'm gonna need to do that these have the little baby bunnies i don't love this for baby bunnies or for my very pink stickers just because this is not pink pink. I need it to be pink pink because it doesn't match the pink but I didn't have anything on hand so for now that's gonna have to work. We have these guys which are the flower cat sticker sheets and I think these with this baby duck washi tape looks amazing and I'm very happy with how these came out. Also business cards happen to get cut. They happen to fit perfectly though that's crazy. There's a crazy bird outside. These are the Gamer Girl stickers. I think they're super cute. I pack them a bit differently for some of them because these are a pack of two. So that way you can kind of see the different things you're getting. I was super excited to use these little grassy guys, this little tree washi tape, and these are for the little whale sharks. And an exciting thing is happening with the whale sharks. Oh my gosh. I don't want to spoil too much because I feel like I've been talking a lot about things that have yet to happen. So I'm going to leave that one for the next video or whenever they arrive. But let's just say the whale shark may have gotten a makeover. Dude, this bird is going crazy. I am about to lose my mind. Why? Okay, I- oh, just kidding. Thought the bird stopped, but all right, we're just gonna talk over the bird. These are the big hammy stickers with the little ducks as well. I think they're so cute. And see, like, these work because the pink on the baby duck matches the little paper in the back, and, like, I just don't feel that way about these guys. But these are single stickers, which I've never done before in store, so that's really exciting. These are also single stickers, so they're just the little flower cat guys, and then we have some of just, like, the gamer girl stickers. And so these are all the sticker packs that I set up the other day. I think they look, oh my God, I just spilled a bunch of them. Oh wow, I was holding them like this, but like time to clean it up. Oh my God. I'm very happy with the slow evolution of them being like better and better. I have to make sure I have five of each now. 
So welcome to my super messy desk, lol, but let's find where these guys go. Okay, so these two are the packs of 20 and I think these look the best. And also I use these like little packs, packages that have little sparkles on them. So I think they look great. We have five of the flower cats. Okay, these are out of place for sure. Two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I'm running out of space on my desk. These are the heart ones alone. This one's a pack. Okay, so we'll do this. These are the gamer ones alone. Those are the heart ones alone. These are the packs. So one, two, three, four, five. Good. And then we'll separate it with this one so we can see the difference. This one has five. Also, um, I'm clearing off my desk a little bit right now so I can, you know, vlog other stuff. And my desk has been pretty much been devoted to making these little berry guys. Here are some of the finished berries. I've had them on this little plate. This is a crayon Shinchan plate I have from like a little item that I bought a long time ago. But these strawberries look so cute on them. But remember I have this little box from Pusheen. I did a Pusheen box unboxing like a little bit ago. So I'm gonna just store these little clays in here. I feel like it actually works so well because it's like silicone-y so it won't really stick. These are the colors that I've been using for the berries. And the berries are super simple to make, which is the reason I love making them because it's only two colors, but this way they can stay nice and clean and stuff. I just love when you find like the perfect packaging for something and it's cute. So I'm gonna close this up. So, so cute. It says feeling like a snack and I have my little guys in there. Got little berry cups. Amazing. I'm gonna organize my desk so that we can like do stuff. I think I'm gonna glaze some of these guys today. Also because they requested 10 of these or five. I think they requested five for the store. Basically, we're doing like a trial run and seeing how well things sell. So they're getting pretty low quantities of everything. But for my packaging, it would work best if it was a little keychain phone strap. So I've actually been converting them to this. So I currently have two. I need to make three more. But also, I just love having these like glazed so that they're like literally forbidden cereal. I love them. They're so cute. Oh my god. Like, look at this little array that's going on. And we have these guys, which are so cute. I want to dump them out. Just show you guys. Some of them are not looking the best. I'm not going to lie. Some of them are a little bit stupid looking. If, for example, you. I'm sorry. You just look like you need some extra help. I'm gonna have to make a little category of strawberries that are just like too special to sell. And I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. You are looking a little bit special as well, my sir. Some of them are gonna have to be rejected. I didn't really have this problem before because I was making them in such low quantity. But I think when I started making a bunch of them really, really fast, some of them started slipping out of my hands and out of my control so we're gonna make them better also that wasn't even all of them there's literally so many more but let's go ahead and put these guys back in here they're so cute berries i need to eat something i'm very hungry i think we'll get some food and then we'll clean this desk but here's a before this is already better than what it was because you know i put these away this is my tripod lmao how meta but yeah we're gonna clean this up because i have a lot of space in this room to store stuff so it, it really shouldn't be getting this messy I caught Panko drinking some water, so she wanted to come say hello. Why are your eyes never open? She's always the sleepiest little hammy. Hello? It always takes her like extra long to wake up. I don't know why. Yeah. It's time for her to go though, because I'm about to eat. <laughs> Woo! Time for a drink, time for a drink, a drink. Today's drink of choice. This is today's drink of choice. I am back on my drink era. I bought a bunch of these from H Mart the other day and I've been drinking them. I have a couple different ones right now. We have this one and then we have some of those like milk tea ones. This one's a caramel macchiato. I actually haven't had this one before, but I've had the chocolate ones a lot and I usually drink those. So time to try it. But I used to drink a lot of these in high school. Now that I'm back home, I'm reverting back to my ways, you know? <laughs> Oh, this is good. I did not like this as much before because it tastes a lot like coffee and I was not a big coffee drinker, but now I'd be loving the taste of coffee. So this is a move, but we have my lunch or whatever meal you want to call it. I'm kind of just eating because I'm hungry, but it's a little toast. So let's do some eating. This is the food for today. Thank you, mother. Wow. I love when bread is cut into triangles. I swear it tastes better, honestly. <laughs> My shirt says wow, 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 wow. And that's exactly how I feel. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so I'm back in this room. I have sticker proofs 
that I want to show you guys. Look how many I have. Um, but let me clean off this desk first and then and then I will show you. I is so excited. It's literally so excited because I've been uh, I got these a few days ago and I filmed the footage for it, like the reaction. But we're gonna clean this desk first and then I'm gonna show you because I like to hold off on good information. I don't know why. <laughs> this is like the realities of the desk. First of all, I have this plate and now we have this. I actually just ordered a bunch of restock for the stickers because as you can see, well that one's totally full. But like some of these are running low and I don't actually have more of them, so that's happening. My mom gave me this little Hello Kitty container, which is super cute. But I currently have nothing to put in it. But let's figure out where everything's going, right? We have these envelopes. We have some clay that I'm not currently using because like I said, I do not want to make more little berries right now. Water can stay. This drink can stay. This is like my washi tapes that I'm currently using. But I guess this can go on the shelf. Oh, you guys can see my shelf in the corner. Oh my God, that's the forbidden shelf that no one ever sees because it's so messy. But you guys can see it today, I guess. These are some more washi tapes. These are paints. They don't need to be here. Here I bought the extra here because I'm not using that. And then all these pins fell out earlier. My nails are really long right now and it makes it kind of hard to pick up stuff and like make these berries. But I'm always in a constant predicament of having my nails look nice, which makes not only me happy, but also makes for better footage. Or if I have them shorter for practicality, I'm about to do so much prepping for the events that I have going on. Um, I have to make so much stuff. So I think when I take this set off, I do my own nails every single time. So it's not that big of a deal whether I want to change them or not. I think when I change them this time, I'm gonna finally do them short. I've been telling myself I'm gonna do them short for the longest time and I haven't been doing it. I think now is finally the time because also my family and I are gonna be traveling and it's always nicer to have shorter nails when you travel because it just makes life easier. So I think I'm finally gonna do it. <laughs> These are my favorite books. I feel like my favorite books can actually go up here. Also, I had a Tamagotchi guy up here for a while, but he fell. I have a single business card here. I'm not actually sure why, but my current business card holder is completely empty. I need to go downstairs and get more of those. Also, we have a bunch of these. This can low-key stay here because I do be using them. I do have two pencil cases currently. This is the one that I've been using for forever that you guys know. I've done a pencil case tour on this before a while ago, but I also have this one that I dug up from my room. This was my favorite pencil case when I was in like the fourth grade. It has all this random stuff in it right now, and I put my less cute materials in here, although I do have this which is very cute. It's a little vial of brass shaped erasers, but this one has all of my pliers and stuff, as you guys probably know, because I've shown it last video. We have a little strawberry on there. And then this is my money egg. I call it my money egg because when I go tabling, this is the egg that I bring. And then it has my square reader and stuff. Also some snacks in here apparently, but even more importantly, this guy, which I'm actually planning on getting manufactured somehow because I'm currently thinking of a lot of different products for my shop. And so I think like, I just love the design of this. It's a little ruler. It's an accurate ruler and I want to make it an accurate ruler IRL. If I get it manufactured, it won't be able to look exactly like this, but I'm going to do it based off the design. I think I'm going to get it printed on acrylic. I think it's going to be super cute. So I'm excited. Sorry, I'm trying to like fit in frame. Low key, this happens a lot in my videos. So if you ever see me like contorted in a really weird way, it's because I'm trying to fit in frame. I think he's so cute. I made a video on this a while ago. I don't remember if everyone really liked this, but I really liked it. I never actually took like a good photo of it, so I should really do that. I have a really bad habit of not taking good photos of my own products. But yeah, these are the four pencil cases that I currently have on my desk and I need like a pencil case shelf, to be honest. I already have a little shelf here and I have a shelf there, but like I need I need more shelves. I always need more shelves. I, I don't know. But here's a before. I think my desk is pretty usable now. So let's talk about the stuff that we got. Oh my God. So like I said, I already did an unboxing of this when I first got them because I want to get my first reaction. So I'm going to show you guys that first and then we will come back and look at these. Guys, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, first of all, uh, these all need to get out of the way because this is not what I'm doing right now. Oh my God, oh my God. I got my package and I am so excited. This has been in the making for like a month now and these are just the proofs. So these are not the like final package because I ordered like a bajillion of them, but oh my God, I already see them. I'm so excited. Ooh, oh my God. <gasps> They're so cute, little hammies! Oh my god! Ah! 
So we have five of each of them. Oh my God, this is what I wanted to see. Oh, they look so great. Guys, are you kidding me? <gasps> the only thing, the pink, oh, it's a little bit dull. I have very high standards for printed pink. Oh my God, these look amazing. Yes, they peel amazing, exactly the texture I was thinking. So I have five of these now. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my, oh my god. I'm so happy. Let me get the other ones open. These are just like so much better than the prints that I was selling before. Because like the prints didn't make sense, you know? But these ones like make sense. Oh my god, the blue ones. It looks so great. Like I am so happy. Oh my god god oh my god the way i'm just ripping open the packaging right now like you guys just don't understand <laughs> oh my god they look amazing and then we have the little hammies these are i mean they're smaller than i wanted them to be but that was my own choice because like it costs less to make them smaller they said they were gonna send me five of each but this one Maybe it's just because they're smaller, but the stack feels like it's more than five. One, two, three, yeah. Four, five. Oh my god, they sent me extra six, seven! <gasps> Amazing. I will say it looks like some of the cutting for this is a little bit off. Maybe on all of them. This one is good. Mmm, I see the issue now. Because I made these cut lines really, really precariously. Ah, oh, they're all off. This one will definitely have to be adjusted before going into production. Like, out of all of these, one of them was good. I will contact them about that, but they look super cute. Oh my god, amazing. And then lastly, we have these pudding guys, which I, I honestly don't really care about anymore. Like, I liked them when I made them, but now, honestly, I might have them just not make these ones we will see like they're cute but i just like don't really care for this set to be honest just because like the sheets look messy We're separating all of them so yeah but the cut lines on these are pretty good so that's fine i love these guys i want these to be better maybe i'll make them a little bit bigger um so that there's some more room to them because they are pretty small i don't mind the size these however are literally perfect amazing spectacular i am so so happy i'm gonna get back in contact with my menu and we're going to have a little chat but these look good to me Woo! i'm gonna tell you guys the changes that i'm going to make because I sent them a couple notes after I received this. First of all, I think these stickers, the paper doll ones, or I guess now they're stickers. I had no notes for them on this. I told them to go ahead and do it. I think the only thing was right here. I wanted them to add another cut line. These three look absolutely amazing and I'm very happy with these. So these are gonna get manufactured ASAP and hopefully I'll have them soon. And the store that I'm going to tomorrow actually requested that I bring these in as soon as I get them. And so, I'll be happy to surprise them with some of these tomorrow because I have like six of each. I won't be selling them online first, so I guess they'll just be in store. But everything that I sell there is going to be also online and there's going to be a markup. So if you guys ever want anything that you see me showing, it's all online. Feel free to support me that way. These guys, these cutie little hammies. So I already knew this was going to happen. The cut lines are not good. Probably mostly my fault because I made the stickers very close together. Also, they're very small, so there's not a lot of room for error for them. And so I actually fixed the file a little bit more and I added some little cut lines myself so that it would be a little bit easier. And I requested that they make this sheet bigger because I really like the design of this. I think it's gonna do really well. The only thing is that, I mean, I love how small they are, but like they don't cut well when they're so small, you know? So I fixed the issue with them and those should be good to go. So I made these bigger and I changed the design a little bit so that it should look better. For these, I know some people were excited about these when I showed them. I don't like them. Also, same thing, cut lines. It was very difficult. I don't like the overall look of the sheet because all of the borders are bleeding together, which I know has to happen because it's like just space for the machine to cut, but don't love these. So I don't think I'm gonna get these manufactured because right now I'm trying to spend all of my money on things that I think are going to do really well. Also, I apologize for all the glare. These unfortunately are not gonna get made. I might sell the few that I have here just because they are pretty cute. I'm not gonna do these, at least right now. Maybe I I will redesign them in the future 
so that they can look better, but I really wasn't feeling this one. So I decided to put this part of the budget into this guy and these are gonna be around this size instead and they're going to hopefully look better. So I am excited about how these came out though. The sun is slowly going away, which is making me nervous. I don't know if it's because it's cloudy or if it's approaching nighttime. It's only like four o'clock, so it might just be cloudy. Hopefully it'll come back. These pink ones, I'm very happy about these. I think these look great. The blue ones also look great. Purple ones, I mean, they all look great. I think my only note is that the colors are a little bit dull, but I don't think they can really do anything about that. And I don't think I can really do anything about that, but I think I will sell them individually at the store and then as a set online, just because I think that's easier. And I think most people will want these in a set anyway. So we have to package up a few of these. I think I'm gonna give them two of each. I'm talking about the store for tomorrow. I need to package them if I'm gonna be giving them these. So, oh, these are the purple ones. I already did that. Two of those, two of these, and then two of the pink ones. I felt like my aesthetic might not match what they were looking for because I feel like my aesthetic is very cutesy, but another side of my aesthetic is very just like girly, princessy, cute, but they really vibe with that. So I'm going to get these in a package. I have a lot of plastic sleeves, which is basically what they want me to do. So let's see if I have one that fits this side. This is one of the sleeves I have, but I feel like this is... This is too small. It's okay. I have one a size up from this. Hopefully these fit because I have like thousands of these. So it'd be really nice if they did. Yes. Okay, fantastic. So I'm gonna just sleeve up a few of these. Packaging for this is really easy. I'm basically just gonna just put it in there. Also, another reason why I'm not selling them in packs of three in the store is because I don't have anything right now that can signify that there are three of them in a pack and I don't wanna like confuse people because I would ideally have something on the back, but I haven't designed or printed anything, nor do I have the time to do that right now. So we're just gonna sleeve them up like this. Okay, okay, okay. I grabbed a fat stack. I have, I have problems about these business cards. I like them, I really do. I think I've just looked at them for way too long. I want to design new ones, but like one, I don't have the option to because I have two big boxes of these. Each box is like this big. And doing this in-person shop, I've gotten rid of a bunch of them because like every single sticker pack has one in the back, you know, um, which is very important to me because like, yes, I could just give them my business cards and hope that people who buy my stuff like take one, but odds are most people probably will either forget or not care enough to. So I make sure to include them in the back. I need to design a square one so I don't have to cut them. I know that, but I don't have the time or option to do that right now. So that is another long-term goal that I have. However, comma, it says Etsy shop on the back. And as you guys know, I left Etsy because Etsy takes a lot of your money and I'm able to use my own website now to sell stuff, which is super amazing. And actually the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. Squarespace has actually helped me make my own website. And I would be saying this even without being sponsored by Squarespace because they have actually helped out a tremendous amount with my artist career because being able to sell stuff online is very hard and you want to get all of your hard-earned profits and Etsy does not let you do that not to slander Etsy too much but there have been a lot of issues over the years which is why I moved off of it however all of my business cards say Etsy on them so I'm waiting to get rid of these so that they no longer say that also so I don't direct people to the wrong place I have on my Etsy written that I sell my stuff on my website now and I've linked it so if anyone actually goes to my Etsy it's not like barren you know but it would be nice if I could get new business cards so for my stickers um and my sticker sheets I have my prints that they also asked for and I have a business card in the back of all of them I also have printed on the back this but I don't have that printed on the back of my sticker sheets obviously each of them gets a business card and a sticker and so that's what I'm going to be doing with these sticker sheets you know same thing uh these are going to them as well so that's exciting but we're gonna just pack some of these up so I get rid of a business card I debate which side I want to put it on like do I want to do it like this or do I want to do it like this but I think I'm gonna do it like this for these because for most of them I've been putting it the other way and do I have any more of these to show you guys hold on I don't oh my god I ordered more I ordered more currently I only have thank you stickers but I also have these, I know they're bigger, but like the colors are also different. This one is more of a neutral tone and this one is more of a pink tone. And I talked about it a bit in my last video, but I wanna make sure that 
this is just like a personal thing like i'm being extra but i like when these match the artwork and the only ones that would match this are the pink ones and i'm going to use the big ones for these because this is a rather big sticker sheet so like bigger the purchase bigger the thank you you know um, and these are like free for the customer obviously not for me i have to pay for these but these are basically free so i include these yeah i need to pack up a couple of these sheets i'm gonna just send two on the way with them so also because i only have two right now even though i'm only sending them like two of some things and like three of others it's low-key a lot of stock because i have a lot of different types of things exciting but also scary because this is a lot of items so we're just gonna pack these up this stack two of the pink ones which i've already done one of them two of these and two of these yes a little tedious at times but you guys know i be loving tedious work anyway so slide that in there one of these as you can see things are hard with my long nails so i'm excited to get these taken off they're also super grown and like i said i do my own nails so i could do it anytime but i'm also just like for videos like i like when my hands look pretty <laughs> Whoop. This guy, this guy. It's amazing that I got these samples in time to bring these in store. I did not actually know I was getting samples of these until I literally received them. I thought they were just gonna show me a picture online, but they were actually so kind as to ship me some in-person samples so I can like literally look at them and feel them, which is really nice because I have a really bad gauge of like how big things are when like I always measure, like I knew I set this to be, I think, three and a half inches or whatever it is. Come here, three. Oh, this is bigger than three and a half. I think it's three and a half this way. Yeah, it's three and a half this way across. But I knew I set it to this size, but it's just hard for me to like imagine for some reason. I need to just like print them out at that size, like on a regular printer so I can hold them and look at them, but I never do that and I don't know why. These sleeves are low key not my favorite though because I don't like when sleeves have this little dotted thing on the edge. But I have a couple thousand of these now, so there's no going back until I use up all of these but that's okay. <laughs> you live and you learn, you know. And last one. I'm excited to get my stickers in because also not only did I restock a bunch of stuff, but I designed like a whole bunch of new stuff. The next two, three months is gonna be so exciting on this channel because there's so much I wanna share with you guys. So there we go. I got all of them, amazing. I need to come up with a pricing sheet for them in a sec, I'll probably do that later tonight. But yeah, we got our stuff sorted out. Almost done packing all the stuff for them, amazing. I think it's starting to rain, which makes me sad because I don't like when it rains. I don't know what I'm gonna do about these berries because I needed to glaze them today. Now it's raining and I won't have the sunlight. I mean, I can do it without the sun. It's just so much easier. I think I will just dismantle some of the berries we already had, the ones on the little plate so that we can package them as little keychains because it's the same thing. So like, it'll be fine if I do that. It just makes me kind of sad. Great. So for the rest of the night, I ate dinner and Panko joined us at the dinner table. Here she is eating some baby bok choy, which has been her favorite little veggie lately. And she just hangs out because like at the end of the meal, we're just all sitting there just like chatting. And so I have little Panko and she's just eating her little veggie, but we're gonna wind down a bit for the night and take a bit of a break from doing all of the work because I've been doing quite a bit of work. And because today is Monday later, I am going to be streaming. And so tonight we are streaming some Animal Crossing and I am quite excited. Excited. I stream like at 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so if you guys want to catch me, that is where I will be. Hello, everyone. So I just streamed. As you can see, this is my little setup low key. It's a little janky. We just finished. We had a great stream. Here are all of the people who subbed, followed, etc. But super fun. Oh my gosh, today was a great, great stream. Woohoo! And here's a little clip of how the stream went today because it was super fun. So, like, out of your way. It definitely, ugh, I relate to that. It definitely be a struggle. Like, where would be the best place to put these? Oh my god, we have a huge raid! Ah, hello everyone, welcome! Oh my god, thank you so much Tink TV for the raid. I appreciate it so much. Welcome everyone, this is crazy. We're playing Animal Crossing. Um, hi, oh my gosh, thank you so much for the follow, old man Kevin. And thank you so much Tink TV for the follow as well. Oh my God, this stream's going crazy right now. Uh, you can hardly see me because, you know, I should put my, wait, I should literally put my camera, my webcam in front of the emote wall. That would make sense, wouldn't it? There we go. Now you guys can see my face. Hello everyone. Ah, I appreciate it. Welcome everyone. My name's Tiffany Wang. Why? Why is it so
so beautiful. Is there like a cosmic eclipse? What is happening? Why is it beautiful? I don't normally take pictures on Animal Crossing. I don't. But this is just like, it's too beautiful not to. Like, what the heck? Also, if anyone wants to subscribe, it's September, so all the subs are at a slight discount right now, which is the best deal for you. And also, you get my beautiful hammy emotes if anyone subs, so if anyone ever wants to do that. Today, next stream, whenever, feel free to. I will always thank you guys, even if you do it while I'm off stream, and you guys will catch me on the next one. But, thank you guys so much. I had a great time today. I hope you guys did too. Oh my gosh, sad venti main. Thank you so much for this uh, welcome to the family. Here's your hug. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here on today's stream. Welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh, amazing. You guys will catch me next Wednesday. Woohoo. And now, oh my gosh, sad venti main. You get my hammies. Subbing for hammies, I think is a great investment. My personal opinion. If you guys love the hammies, get them as stickers. They are in my shop. You can find them in my uh, about me section or you can go to tiffany.com. We are all done with the gaming tonight, but I might play some League later, who knows? But yeah, this is what my nights look like on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday because that is when I stream on Twitch. So yeah. This is my current strange desk setup. Um, but I have my laptop stacked. This is my streaming laptop that I use. Thinking about getting a PC, don't know if I'm going to, but I have my Dora Amon little map and we're just vibing today, doing some, doing some work tonight. I got some emails back about proofs, so I have to adjust my files today. This is what I'm spending my night doing, but yeah, love that. So much fun, wowee. I'm also accepting some contracts tonight, so we are just, you know, typing names in, pretending this is my signature. That's just how it be. <laughs> Lots of work stuff tonight, just catching up. This is what the workspace looks like. It's a total mess, even though I literally cleaned the desk yesterday also. Bajillion and one berries, as you can see, very cute, but we will work on those in a bit. I'm gonna make some of these into keychains and earrings and whatever, just cause I think they'll do well. So hopefully I can just get them out of the way now so I don't have to do them again. Cause as you can see, I have a bunch of these and these are from when I used to make little ditto keychains, but I don't really do it anymore. Probably make these into something worthwhile right now since I'm kind of bored. I'm going to package up some of these guys because he said I was interested in some of my little resin keychains and these are really easy to package and I used to have these on my Etsy but I no longer am selling them because I just don't really like them that much. So this is a great way to get rid of some stock right now so I'm gonna get rid of these little kitty ones and then maybe if I can sell enough resin things I will get back into resin but I kind of stopped making it for a while but as you can see here are some of them and then we have some Malang ones as well that I will probably sell. So we're just gonna package these up on some of these. But yeah, these are the plans for tonight. Is my room currently a mess? Yes, do I wanna talk about it? No. This is how I've been doing my business cards for the things like the earrings that need it in the back. Just line it up and I put it on top like that. And I just keep going. And this is just a little bit straighter than cutting it with scissors. So I prefer to do it this way. Oh wait, I've never done this before. Can I cut two of them? Oh my god. Wait, that actually changes everything. Progress so far. I have so many more of these. I'm gonna give them like this big of a stack today too, so. And here's some footage of me packaging up the ditto earrings. So like I said earlier, the presentation for all of this stuff is really important since it's gonna be in a store. So I did some drawings on the little cards just to make it look a bit nicer. And then obviously you just punch through the earrings like you normally do. And these are for the ones that I actually happen to have two of. Some of the ones I didn't have two of, I just made into keychains and that's like really easy but i'm gonna put in some of these little memo cards that i have sliced in half and these are how all of the earrings came out it's like so cute and here are some of the keychains as well and i'm just going to package up a few more things and draw on the cards and it's pretty tedious but i honestly enjoy it so i'm just gonna keep packing these up and we are going to be done whoa, 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 whoa. Hello everyone, my desk is clearly a mess. I'm about to leave, but I want to show you guys all the stuff I'm bringing before because once I bring them, I will no longer have them. And last night I actually packed a lot of stuff last minute. Five of these little strawberry baby guys and I did all the packaging myself, obviously. I packed up a lot of these ditto earrings that I found because like I said, this is gonna be a card shop. So there's a lot of Pokemon players and stuff. There's one pair of pudding earrings. These are the packages that I did for that. I packed up some of my little Molang 
keychains just because I still had these and I am ready to get rid of these so that I can make new stuff. So we have this guy as well. So cute. A lot of these guys and these are pretty cheap. So hopefully those will sell well. Those are not particularly the cutest ones, but I did make three of these ditto keychains. I think they're so cute and these are going to be sold. I think these are gonna do pretty well. I have a couple dittos still. I made these a while ago in my resin era. I don't know if I'm gonna be continuing making them because I don't know, I don't feel like resin is very fulfilling for me. There's a business card missing from the back of that one. We also have some little kitty ones, which are also cute. So I'm gonna show you guys close-ups of these, but yeah, I'm excited to bring these. I think they're gonna do pretty well. I'm running a little bit late already, but I think it's okay. Here are more dittos, but yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I need to put a business card in the back of this, but I printed out a sheet of paper that has all of the information on it. We should be good to go because I gave them a set of all of my prices. This might be more stuff than they asked for, but I'm just gonna bring it. We're gonna see what happens. I don't know if we'll have space or everything. As you can see, my desk is a mess because I was working last night, but yeah, I think we are ready to go. We got these guys, we got the stickers, we got prints and stuff. So I think we are good to go. These are some of the kitties. There's so many of them, they're all really cute. Here are the ditto earrings I was talking about. I hand draw all of these packaging, so I'm quite proud of them, but these are some purple ones. We have some of these light pink ones. These are some super pink ones. I have these three ditto keychains and I feel like these will do pretty well too. Very cute, so I only have three of them. Saying goodbye to these guys. I really don't feel any type of way about these. One more pair of purple ones. I feel like the purple ones are the cutest ones for sure. And then one pair of pudding earrings. This over here is all the stuff I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna get some more business cards on my way downstairs, but we have the flower cats. We have a couple of the star protector stickers, as you can see. And then we have some fish mouse sticker sheets and two of those prints. So I'm quite excited. We got a lot of stuff. So I got dressed for the most part. I don't know what I'm gonna eat yet because I haven't eaten, um, probably got something on the way, but I have everything in the Sephora bag. And also, obviously I have these guys. I can put these back in the folder. I actually never emptied this folder, but I kind of don't have time for this. So we're just gonna slide everything out like that. Slip these guys in here. Amazing, amazing. Um, I need to grab more business cards for sure. There's not many containers in this room. I guess I can see if I can fit them in this bag that's already kind of doing the most already. Uh, it's dangerous because I don't have them in this specific order for a reason. Put a couple of them in here like this. It kind of fit. I don't know. I don't know if I call this fitting, but it'll, it'll do. <laughs> Okay, so I am on my way, starting my <laughs> one hour drive. Um, hopefully I find something to eat along the way. I might get McDonald's because I love McDonald's. But yeah, I'm currently at a red light. So no vlogging while driving, guys. Don't do that. <laughs> I got my little water and we are ready for this journey. Woo, time to drive. Okay, so food of the choice today is Wendy's. Also, I don't have any lip stuff on today uh, i'll put it on later i'm just lazy oh this guy's trying to get out that sucks because we're all blocking you in i've only had wendy's twice and both the times i've been at RISD when i was severely stressed nice that i'm getting it now and i'm just like vibing in my car first time was when we were moving out with covid and then the second time was recently i had to get a square reader and i had to like run to walmart last minute and like was stressing out because the uber would have cost me 50 dollars, and i was just not having it i'm really happy to be back like able to drive because semi like driving i like driving with a purpose I like vibing in the car. So debating on if I should get a little drink. I actually, I don't know why I'm debating this. I'm gonna be driving for an hour. Of course, I'm gonna get a little drinky drink. I do have some water today though. My tiny cup. I should get a little like a little milkshake or something. Just a quick little bite before we go. Don't sleep on Wendy's bro. It's really good. And then this is their Frosty Chino. Oh my God, I just had a sip. It's really sweet, but um, that's a fun little drink for the ride. <laughs> 
yeah okay i am back i did not think they were gonna take literally everything but they took everything so that is great i have other stuff i've been working on i think i'm gonna do the berries because i haven't done any of them i would like to because they're cute and i still have some sunlight left so hopefully i'll be able to get a couple of these done uh, these are the earrings that i have packed these are going to be for the store online but yeah i need to first of all organize whatever the heck is happening here the plan for the rest of the day i am very very tired i didn't sleep a lot last night Mini nighttime routines, always having a little drink. We're gonna play some league because I am home now so I can game wherever I want and it's exciting. So we're gonna set up and got my little drink. Today's drink of choice is this latte one. Yeah, it's cozy time. Time to play some games. This is literally the best day ever. We're all bees <laughs> it's so cute are you shitting me it it kind of does in the sense that we're all yellow oh yeah and then we got this going on we got three cute bees and then them and so that pretty much wraps up today's video i'm sorry for the lack of outro but i actually ended up getting really sick after filming this video it's not covid i just had a bunch of health issues all at once so i am recovering i am getting better and i will see you guys in the next vlog thank you guys all for the support as always i'm using some hammy footage to kind of fill in the void but thank you guys so much for watching for hanging out i will see you guys in the next one so stay hydrated take a nap and i will see you guys in the next video bye everyone